Before I release my next review, I think it's important to give praise when the Prince Estate makes a real step in the right direction. Over the past few days, a number of developments have been made in the Prince world that are certainly worth discussing. Firstly, we were treated to the incredibly well received release of Prince's version of Nothing Compares to You from 1984, along with video footage of clips of Prince rehearsing during this period. If other musical artists made their shows half as great as Prince's rehearsals, they would almost certainly become legends. Prince gives his all, spinning, twisting, pushing himself to the limit. There were also elements on show of Prince's humour and the camaraderie of this iconic band. The quality of this footage also whets the appetite as to just how much other material is possibly out there. Twitter and Facebook exploded with the video and the views just keep stacking up. It's going to be huge. On the back of this, the estate have announced the release of Nothing Compares to You as a single and the vinyl is already a pre-order bestseller. You can even buy clothing, including this funky denim jacket. Secondly, the estate launched two brand new websites, Prince2Me.com and PrinceEstate.com. Prince to Me is a fun little site which allows you to create in picture and word form just what Prince means to you. It's the kind of thing that Prince used to do with the This Could Be Us picture build website, but even more interactive. You can choose from a variety of Prince images, words and clips, and some truly great examples have been uploaded. The second site, PrinceEstate.com, is truly where I think the estate is really beginning to create something with a much more powerful legacy than we've seen so far. Obviously it's just a start, and the site proclaims that this site will be constantly evolving. But so far, so funky. The site lists every Prince album with a description of the project, some contextual history to the album, and on quite a few you get to play a 30 second snippet of each track. But that's not all. There are legacy project information, compilation albums information, and the vast amount of albums for other artists that Prince has helped produce. Hopefully in time, the real icing on the cake will be the ability to purchase all these albums through the site with just the click of a button. eBay has gone crazy with unofficial products, and whilst it would be great to see the money returned to the estate for future projects, the silver lining is that eBay proves the demand is absolutely there for Prince's work. People are enjoying it, listening to it, and demanding more. Thirdly, and I would argue most importantly, are the recent comments made by Troy Carter, who is responsible for the direction of Prince's estate. Troy gave an interview which was illuminating, hopeful and respectful. Troy seems to feel the great weight of responsibility on his shoulders for this vital project and announced that a new album of previously unreleased material would be released by the estate in September. Whilst not giving away too many details, new Prince music is always gratefully received. Even more important than this are the comments he made about the contents of the vault seemingly vast but also in good condition despite initial fears from fans. There also seems to be a plan and the estate have some ideas about how to carefully and considerately release Prince's work. Some of the work that has been discovered has apparently reduced Troy to tears. Fourthly, Rumours are rife that a book, including Prince's own words, lyrics, poetry and writing, will be released in a few months. Whilst details are sketchy, seeing some of the beautiful handwritten lyrics, ideas and scripts displayed at the O2 exhibition in a book would be truly amazing. Something similar was produced for Kurt Cobain and proved to be a really, truly deep insight into his world. Hopefully, it will do Prince justice. Finally, after a week of the Prince celebration events, social media and Prince tributes, it has to be said that the purple world did Prince proud. Some beautiful people donated money and packed lunches for those in need. The love around on social media, even in the wake of intrusive and disrespectful releases of photographs and images of Prince, was overwhelming. Prince was an internationally celebrated artist, but he was also a brother, a friend and a man. It would be nice if certain media outlets respect him as much as the Prince world does. I would like to thank everyone in the Prince world for their tremendous spirit over the past few days. The estate is beginning on a long path, and it's important to remember that the legacy is only partly in their hands. 
It is a symbiotic relationship between the Prince community and the estate to truly ensure that Prince gets the very best treatment because it's the least we can do after all he gave us. Thank you.